Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to use the VLOOKUP function in order to assign letter grades to students' test scores. Now this is the third in the series of thorough VLOOKUP explanations and after this tutorial you're going to be able to find a bunch of more um, specific and advanced VLOOKUP tutorials. So if you'd like to get this workbook go ahead and uh, go to teachexcel.com search for the video tutorial and you can download this workbook there. So some of the other VLOOKUP examples that I've uh, shown you how to do are, are how to search for text items or database items and those matches had to be approximate but or exact I'm sorry these have to be approximate right so I've got Bob here he gets an 85 on a test but I've got my scoring table over here and we need to make an 85 equal a B obviously not the most exact scoring table but it'll uh, help us explain or help me explain what I'm doing so what I need to do is put a VLOOKUP formula right here to search for this number in this table and return B now I'm gonna go ahead and put the VLOOKUP syntax right here and that way if you need to reference it at all throughout this tutorial you can see it right here so let's go ahead and begin now the first thing you need to know when you're using a VLOOKUP in this manner is you need to make sure that the numbers are essentially what you would say as reversed right they need to be in ascending order so it needs to go small to big because what the VLOOKUP is going to do is it's going to say okay I'm looking for 85 over here I can't find 85 in this table so what's the next lowest number next lowest number 80 so I found 80 now I'm gonna return this value B so that's how the VLOOKUP is going to search and that's why the F letter grade has to be 0 because if the F letter grade was 55 and the student scored a 45 you wouldn't be able to return a value because VLOOKUP if it can't find the number is going to go to the next lowest number so let's go ahead and do this with the VLOOKUP right equals let me take the bold out of here actually so equals VLOOKUP open parentheses now what we need first is our lookup value well the value that we'd like to look up is this 85 right here now uh, comma so we want to look this value up the test score in this table to return a letter grade now the table array is going to be the table with all the letter grades in it so right here select the entire table now I'm gonna hit F4 to put dollar signs here and make this an absolute cell reference what that means is if I copy this formula down the table will not shift or move or change or anything like that now it's important to note that my lookup value here has to be in the leftmost column of the table array so the lookup value is always searched for in the leftmost column of your table array I could not have the letters on the left column and numbers in the right column it wouldn't work if I did it that way so just bear that in mind it's always going to search the leftmost column of your table array comma the next thing I need is my column index number and that's important because what the VLOOKUP does is it's going to search for 85 right it's going to say okay I can't find 85 but I found 80 80 is right here so now I need to know what value to the right of 80 to return well I'm going to return this value right here column number two because the VLOOKUP will only return a value within the same row as the lookup value that it found sounds kinda confusing but you'll get the hang of it after a while so for the column index number what column do we want to return a value from well in this table array we have two columns column one column two column two has the letters that's what we want to return values from next thing comma now do we want an approximate match or an exact match in this case we want it to be an approximate match because we're not going to be able to find the value 85 in this table so an exact match isn't going to work so we have to type in true close the parentheses and hit enter so it returned B I'm gonna copy this down real quick and that way we can quickly assign letter grades to all of the students and it is really a uh, it's a cool way to achieve a lot of work very quickly. 
Now I'm going to go over it real quick one more time. So we got our lookup value, right? These are the test scores. This test score over here. I want to look that value up in this table right here. Now the lookup value, the or the V lookup is always going to search the left column of your table array. So it's always going to search this column right here, no matter what I put in it. That means that your table array always has to have the lookup values in the left column. Once I find my lookup value, I need to know what column to return data from. Now since data is always returned from the same row, I just need to know the column. Well, in this case, there are only two columns, so column number two to return the letter value. For range lookup, in this case, it has to be true for an approximate match because, like I said, you're not going to be able to find all of the um, values because it would be annoying to put 81 equals B, 82 equals B, 83 equals B, and so, so on and so forth. So that's really the basic syntax of the VLOOKUP for this case. Um, and I went over it twice because this is the walkthrough tutorial, so don't get annoyed if I'm going over things too much. Um, so that's really all there is to it for this um, using the VLOOKUP formula in this way. Remember though, it does have to be in ascending order, right? So these have to get bigger as they go down. That is very important to note. Now, what I'm going to show you here, over here I've got a more advanced grading scale somewhere. Where is it? Right here. So this is probably what you would really want it to look like. Right here. Right, so you can set all your A, A minuses, B plus, B, B minus, and so on and so forth. So this is probably the lookup table that you would like to use. Um, but this is this works for this example. So if you'd like to get this workbook, head over to teachexcel.com, search for the video tutorial, and you can download the workbook there. As for this tutorial, that's about it.